Hello guys, if you are here to understand the challenge addressed by Bernstein Wasserian algorithm or to see the quantum circuit setup for the Bernstein Wasserian algorithm, this is not the video. Please refer back to my previous video. Uh, the link to that video is in the description box. Yeah. In this video, what we look, look at is why the quantum circuit setup for Bernstein Wasserian algorithm works. What's the math behind that setup? That is what we are addressing in this video. To understand that, we should first understand what happens when Hadamard yields are applied. We have discussed this previously, but just to recap, when the qubit contains zero, or qubit is, is, is in the state zero, and Hadamard gate is applied to that qubit, that qubit get transformed to a superposition state of zero and one, with an amplitude one way root two for each. And another point about Hadamard gate is that Hadamard gate is its own inverse. So this superposition state, if a qubit is in this superposition state, and when Hadamard is applied, it goes back to the original state zero. Right. Now let us see what happens when Hadamard gate is applied to a qubit state 1. That happens, it is very similar to 0. The only difference is that for the 1 over here, the amplitude has a phase or minus. There's a minus sign comes over here instead of plus. Again, just like previously, when you apply Hadamard, it goes back to 1. Okay. Now that is out of the way. Let us see what happens when uh, Hadamard gates are applied to multiple qubits. Let us take two qubits. So 0 and 0 are input to this setting. The This 0 is translated to, transformed to 1 by root 2 root 0 plus 1 by root 2 1. Same here. But with multiple qubits, we express the state as a combination of these two qubits. We won't say it separately. So that we get with tensor product. So when a tensor product is applied, what is that is what we see what these qubits are. So 0 turns out with 0 is called 0, 0. So these two qubits are in a state 0, 0, because they are both 0. What are these two qubits in? Right? To understand that, we need to do a tensor product of these two qubits. This is 1 by root 2, 0 plus 1 by root 2, 1, turns out with itself. What we get is this. So this, uh, you know, over here, this 0 multiplied with this 0, we get 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 multiplied, 1 by 2. So the, the uh, once it is tensor, we get 0, 0 here. Same with 0, 1, same with 1, 0, and 1, 1. So we get all four possibilities, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, in these two qubits with these amplitude, this is 1 by 2. So uh, uh, the probability of that happen happening is amplitude squared, which is 1 by 4. So the probability of all this thing is 1 by 4. So equal probability over here. So that is what we get with two zeros. Now let us see what happens uh, uh, to this state when we apply another Hadamard gates. Just like previously, if this is a superposition state of these two qubits, we'll get back 0, 0. Right? Now, now let us look at something different. Instead of 0, 0, we will look at 0, 1. Okay? Everything should be similar except for this minus sign here. So let us see what result we get. So we get a very similar distribution here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. But the probability or the amplitude is 1 by 2 for everything, just that these two have a phase, minus 1, minus 1. That is happening because of this one, right? So anything that is tensored, so 0 tensored with this one, 0, 1 will have this minus. 1 tensored with this one will also have this minus. Now, just like previously, we uh, uh, apply Hadamard gates again, you get 0, 1 back. Now, let us look at that amplitude a bit more closely. So, let me call this 0, 1 as u and u2. Okay? And whatever output that comes here as x1, x2. So, u and u2 is going to be a constant, 0, 1, because this one is not getting changed. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This one, each time you measure, we, get a, we, we may get a different answer. So, we can get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 because it is in a state of superposition. Okay? And let me also write the amplitude for each. 0, 0 equal to 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. 0, 1 is minus 1 by 2. 1, 0 is 1 by 2. 1, 1 is minus 1 by 2. So that is what we have here. So now, to make things interesting, let us calculate this function here, u dot x, the inner product of u and x. So u dot x is basically nothing. You take u1, 
multiply with x1 you take u2 multiply with x2 and add them together right so u dot x is u1 x1 xr u2 x2 okay. when we do that let us see what we get so 0 xr with 0 we get 0 0 1 xr with 0 we get 0 so that is 0 here but when this happens, 0 x over with 0 and 1 x over with 1, we get 0 x over 1, which is 1. Right? So this is 1, these two are 0, and again this one also we get 1. So now when we observe closely, we can see that whenever we get a 1 here, the amplitude is a minus. Like the, the sign, the phase is minus. Amplitude value, the magnitude is same, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, of all these things but the sign is minus. Whenever we get 0, it is going to be a plus. If that is the case, we can represent amplitude like this. So amplitude is 1 by 2 into minus 1 raised to u dot x. So if u dot x is 1, this is become this becomes minus. If u dot x is equal to 0, this becomes 1. Right? So I can represent this as xx, like sum of sigma, sum of all x, from 0, 0 to 1, 1 and the amplitude is 1 by 2 into minus 1 raised to u dot x that will give me the amplitude right so if that is the case let us expand this for n bits let us say we have n bit input u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 u n u1 can be 0 or 1 u2 can be 0 or 1 whatever it is you know so but this is a constant this you know we start with either 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, or maybe let's say I, I go with the number 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, something like that. So that is what you have as u. If that is the case, what will be the uh, state of bits here, the qubits here? It will be all different possibilities of x, right? 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. It can be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, etc, etc, up to 1, 1, 1, 1, all the you know, once. So that is the different states of uh, superposition that we have here. But on top of that, each of them will be having an amplitude. The amplitude, the magnitude of the amplitude is going to be the same. That is going to be 1 by root 2, the whole raised to n. Right? If it is 2 bits, it is 1 by root 2 square, that is 1 by 2, which is what we saw earlier. If it is 3 bit, it is 1 by root 2, the whole cube. Right, which is 1 by 2 root 2 and so on. So that magnitude is correct. Now the only thing is left is the amplitude, uh, the, the phase of this amplitude, which is minus 1 raised to u dot x. If u dot x equal to 0, then this is going to be positive. U dot, u dot x is 1, this is going to be negative. So if I can represent, I mean, I can represent the state this way. And if this is the state of qubits at this point, and if you apply Hadamard gates again once more, what we get is we get u back right so that is what we get here so now remember this you know remember this equation if you have a equation or no the the superposition state in this form over here and then we apply hadamard gate we get u back with the hadamard this is what we are going to use in bernstein vazirani algorithm so remember this equation so now, now let us look at the uh, bernstein wasserani algorithm. So this is a quantum circuit setup that we discussed in the last video, right? So at the beginning of this video, all this thing is zero, right? So the input to the uh, the circuit is zero. So that is why it's like zero, 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 zero here. And this is a, uh, the final output bit that is also going to be zero, okay? And after this Hadamard gate is applied, what happens? So the state of this qubits here and the state of this qubits here is, a, is the same, right, for this one. So let me put what the state is just before this Hadamard at this point, okay, at this barrier. 0, 0, 0, the six zeros will be in this particular state. 1 by root 2, whole raised to n, which is 6 x equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, all different possibilities of x, x, right? So that is the possibility of all the six bits, okay? state of the six bits. And then it is also having 
a f of x. The result is going to be in f of x, this bit, that is q6. So it starts with 0. It is basically not f of x, it is 0 x or f of x, but 0 x or anything is going to be that value. So it is f of x, right? So that is what we have here in Bernstein was running algorithm setup normally. But I, if you remember correctly, I said one of the reason this thing work, Bernstein was running algorithm works, is because of these things, x and h here. So that's the only difference here. Right? And then we could retrieve the answer u, answer the secret key s. Let us see how that happens. What happens when I apply an x and an h here? So it starts with 0, x is going to be flipping that 0 to a 1 and then you are applying a Hadamard gate. So this means it is going to be in a st minus state, state, state which, which is, is 1 by root to 0, 0 minus 1 by root to 1. So when, when you apply Hadamard to 1, this is what happens. So that, that is the state of this bit. Right? And at the end over here, here what happens? This part remains the same. So I haven't changed that. Right? And this bit has a different state. What is the state of that bit? f of x. This is f of x. x4. This input here. That is 1 by root 2, 0 minus 1 by root 2, 1. So that is the state of this bit. If it was 0, it was f of x, x4, 0, which is f of x. But unfortunately, it is not 0. This is 1 by root 2, 0 minus 1 by root 2, 1. So this will be the state of this bit. Okay. So now we have reached here. Let us see what this means. What is this? So let us try to solve this, this part. f of x, x0, 1 by root 2, 0 minus 1 by root 2, 1. F of x can either be 0 or 1. Correct? So if f of x is equal to 0, 0 x or anything is that other, other thing. So 0 x or this, whatever this, this value is, it is going to be this value. Right? So 0 x or this one has no change. It is going to be 1 by root 2 0 minus 1 by root 2 1. But if f of x is equal to 1, the answer is going to be slightly different. 1 x or 1 by root 2, 1, 0 minus 1 by root 1 is going to be 1 x over this and 1 x minus 1 x over this. 1 x over 0 is going to be 1. So this is going to be 1 by root 2, 1. 1 x over 1 is going to be 0. So this is going to be 1 by root 0. So that when f of x is equal to 1, this gets flipped. Which means this becomes minus 1 by root 2 of 0 minus 1 by root 2 of 1. Okay. So I can write very safely, I can write f of x x or this value is equal to minus 1 raised to f of x this value. Right. So if f of x equal to 0, then this remains. If f of x equal to 1, then it's the same thing with the phase minus. But what is f of x? f of x is the inner product of x and the secret key. So that is the challenge that we are trying to solve with the function f of x. Remember? So x is the input, s is the secret key within f of x. What f of x does is s dot x is what f of x does. So f of x x or this thing is going to be minus 1 raised to s dot x. 1 by root 2 0 minus 1 by root 2 1. If that is the case, I can rewrite this equation with this equation, right? So this basically means that this becomes 1 by root 2n, sigma x, all of the different types of x, and minus 1 raised to s dot x, 1 by root of 0 minus 1 by root of 1. Okay? So if I move this minus 1 outside, what we have is this, okay? So this means that, okay, this one over here, it started 1 by root 2 0 minus 1 by root 2 1. It is still the same 1 by root 2 of 0 minus 1 by root 2 of 1 here. And over here, there is a minus phase that I have. So in this 6 bits, what we have is this part. Right? Let me... This is the value of this part. All the way from here 
to here right so this basically gives an equation which is very similar to what we have seen earlier if we're giving an input with minus 1 raised to u dot x 1 by root to n x equal to 0 to 1 1 1 and then apply Hadamard get Hadamard gates what do we get we get u here in this six bits but over, over here it is not u it is s which means we get s which is our secret key as output when we measure this in just one go we don't have to repeat it 100 times to see how probable it is in just one step we get s we can retrieve s back this is why this circuit setup works and uh, you know we can get uh, s within ffx in just one search not with n different uh, search as we do in classical computing i hope this clears uh, your doubts regarding bernstein vazirani algorithm and if you still have uh, uncleared doubts uh, please ask those in the comment section i will try to answer it as much as i can thank you